Orchid Wiz Encyclopedia Journal. The journal is your personal orchid tracking tool. You will use the journal to record your orchids and their photos. How you grow them, what temperature, what media, what location, how you care for them, when you water them, fertilize, and or repot them. To start a journal, enter an orchid name in the partial text on the Start tab. For example, I'm going to enter INAN for Dendrobium ignata and click the Search Orchid button. A new tab, Orchid Search, opens and in the Names table, scroll down until you find Dendrobium ignata. Click on it and to the right, click on the My Plant button. The first time you start your journal, a window saying the Orchid Wiz journal is missing will appear. Click OK and accept the default location. The My Plant tab opens. You will see the Orchid Wiz ID which is the registered name for the orchid. If you have an ID for your plants, you can enter that. And any of the other information, such as color, lip color, when it flowers, where you bought the orchid. When you first start, there will be no data in this field, you can click Add New and a box, Enter New Source, opens. And you can write the name of the vendor or the orchid show where you bought this orchid. It requires a one to four digit source code that will be used for reporting. Click the Add button. Orchid record added and click OK. There are four fields that require information for you to enter. Source, Media, Location, and Events. Events is part of the journal and you'll see that later in this video. If you would like to batch process entering this data, you can do so by going to the top toolbar clicking on Journal My List, scroll down to My Field Names, and select the item you want to enter for. So in this circumstance, Location. And you can add any location. For example, Large Greenhouse. And my code will be LGH, click Add. Record added, OK. Once you've entered in the source, you can choose the date that you purchased the orchid and how much you paid for it. In the culture section, enter information regarding the plant, its blooming size, the media that you like to use. Again, you can add any type of media you wish. However, there are many default options already provided. The temperature, the amount of sunlight, the container, what strength of fertilizer that you use, if you use any, and the amount of humidity that your orchid is exposed to. Again, the location, and how often do you repot it? Fertilize it, spray it with water, and deeply water it. You can say how many of these plants you have as well as if it has a rest period and is in its rest period. 
Once you've filled out the data, make sure you click the Add Plants button. This is where you save it to your database. At any time, you can add a photo by clicking the Add Photo button. Click on the image you want, and you can add a comment of where the picture was taken, the date the picture, any information you want to add. I'm going to put the date the picture was taken. Would you like to add another photo of the same orchid? I would. And when you've added all the photos, you will click No, and then you will choose the main photo that you want displayed. This particular case, I'd like to have the single image displayed. Now I'm going to hit Update so that all of my changes have been recorded. If the plant were to die, you can choose plant die. When you make this designation, it's a permanent record within the database. However, you'll always be able to determine that you no longer have that orchid. If you choose delete, this record is removed from your journal database and you have no way to record that you at one time had this plant. Remember, plant died and delete cannot be undone. These are permanent changes to the database. So if you want to enter a new plant or another plant, let's say it's not registered. You will go back to the Start tab. You will select the breeding name Cattleya, and then you will click Select, and a Group tab will open. And in the group tab, you'll enter the first parent's name. Next to this, you see Find Cross. Click the Cross With button and enter the second parent's name in the field above the name box. So, for example, Angels. Catlia Angels Fantasy. In red, you see this is an unregistered cross, but to add it to your journal, you will come to the far right and click the My Plant tab. You can add as much data as you wish, and remember to always click the Add Plant. Perhaps an easier way to add an unregistered cross is to click the Add Plant button. And here you will simply type in the name of the orchid. And click the Add Plant button. If you don't want to add another plant at this time, you click No. And the My Plant tab opens, and again you can add as much data as you wish. And when you've added the data, please make sure to click the Update Orchid button. These are the basics of creating your journal. Now that you have entered your orchids, you will want to track their ongoing care and cultivation. From the Start tab, in the My Data section, click on Journal All. And you will see the Journal All tab that lists all of the orchids you have entered. Now, let's say you've just repotted several of your plants. So you will click on the plants that you have repotted. First, hit the CTRL key and then click on the plants. And you can see the plants that I have chosen are highlighted. If you choose one by accident, just click on it again. Then go down to the events field, click on the arrow, and 
choose repotted or any event that you want to record. Select the date and click Add Event to Selected Records. Journal entries have been added. Click OK. To see the journal for a particular record, click on it and then click on the Journal button found at the top of the page. And you can see the two data points that we have for this particular orchid. The date that it was acquired and what we have done to it. If you want to add another event, you can do so. And click Add Event and it will be displayed. Another way to view the data on your orchids is via report. On almost every tab within the journal, you will find a report button. Wherever you see this printer, here, here, that designates a report. So select the orchids you want in the report, and then you can choose either the summary report or the detailed report. Click on the button, and in just a moment, a new window labeled Preview will open. From here, you can save the report, you can print the report, or you can export it to any format that you would like. Finally, if you want to create a label using your Brother PT Series label printer for some of your orchids, Along the top toolbar, you will click Journal, My Lists, and search My Plants. Perhaps you want a label for every one of your Vandas. So you will come and find Vanda, and then click Search. And the three orchids that you're interested in will be displayed. Click the Labels button and the Print Label tab will appear. Select the data that you want. Let's say we don't want parents, just the name information. So we'll remove all of this. And here you can see what the text on your label will look like. You can decide how many you want and how what size of label you want. Click and the ORC label will print to your PT printer. You can also print from the All Plants tab and from the My Plants tab. With these basics, you should now be well equipped to track and care for all of your orchids.